Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your man Hanley for a third episode of Car Chats tonight. Yeah, we're going hard this week. We got episode... Is it 105? I lost track. No, 106. Episode 106 of Car Chats with June Fargo. Uh, from Street Religion Crew. You know, we've had Shorty Bang on. We've had Young Breeze on. Now we're going to get a little insight on June Fargo. So let's go. You go check it out. Cop something nice for the, for the fall that's coming up. You already know. I accepted. IG bugging. Yo. My guy. What up, dog? What's good, my guy? No, I'm good. I got. I finally got to chop it up with you. I was talking to yeah. Breeze about it for a minute. Yo. Oh, shout out Breeze. D French. What's up, French? What up, what up French? Yeah. D French baby in the building. You already know. So yeah, while we're while we're starting it up, why don't you just for the people who aren't in here and they're gonna watch later, why don't you do a little introduction of who you are and what you do and what you provide to the street religion team? What's going on? It's June Fargo, aka June Forgiato, aka Fargo Baby. You know what I'm saying? I do the drill, the R and B, the pop music. I do it all. If you love Tory Lanes, you love Drake, you love Rod Wave, you love some Khaled, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you gonna, shoot, over you're here. You're gonna shoot a bitch in the foot? Bro, Tory, <laughs> bro, free Tory, bro. Free Tory. Oh, yeah, free Tory till it's reversed, but. <laughs> oh, did we lose him? I hope we didn't lose him. Let me get him back on, guys. I don't know what's wrong. IG always fucking bugging me, man. I swear they shadow ban me every fucking week. Bro, we see, see, look All what right. happened. I said, I said, free Tory. Yo, they trying. The feds trying to, is watching. The they trying to silence watching. me, bro. That's, uh, yeah. that's why we. That's how we got the Fargo. <laughs> Shout out Tory. That's the, the goat. So how? Where's the name come from? Uh... I used to go by Junum, and then uh, a lot of a lot of Canadian artists, <laughs> damn, Bruce, a lot of Canadian artists um, influenced me like musically. Uh, really? Houdini, yeah, Houdini, uh, Drake, oh, Bieber, Sweet. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, uh, that guy, man. Yo, if that guy was, if he was still here, he would have been making a whole different took wave, bro. Off. Took Hell off, yeah. bro. Uh, took yeah. off. Nav Bieber, um, just just the whole Canadian scene, bro, is different. What? I just started listening to Swavy. He's fire, bro. What what made you what made you tap into the Canadian scene so hard? Corey, bro, bro. One day, me and Breeze were at his mom's house recording, and Breeze like, yo, I gotta show you this artist. His name's Tory Lanes, and it was um, it was that song with um, I'm trying to think of his name. Yo. French is right. The weekend, yo, before the weekend is what he was now when he was dropping that dark shit. Yeah. That shit was fucking fire, bro. Yeah. I, that all bro, fucked up on drug type shit. Yo, that's the weekend bro, I fucked with. Bro, yes. When he dropped that trilogy. House of Balloons that, and shit, bro. There we go. Bro. That's what I'm saying. The whole Canadian scene is just fire, bro. I see, Thank you for saying that, man. You're the first American artist to come on and flat bro, out yeah. say that. Roy Woods. Everybody, bro, they're Yo, all lit. Why wouldn't you like Canadian bitches, man? The Canadian bitches out here are fucking nice. Bro, and y'all got Tim Hortons? Come on, bro. <laughs> My dog is chapped in with Tim Hortons. Bro, I do I do snack reviews. I'm bro, I'm tapped in, trust me. <laughs> I'm tapped this in. This man's out there just popping Tim bits and shit. Right. I'm <laughs> I'm super tapped guy, in, I, yo, I fuck with you, bro, on a different level now. I keep telling people. <laughs> So I'm about to move to Canada. I got this dude I game with. His name is Canadian. He lives in uh Mississauga. Yeah. It's and like, it's, a nice little, like it's a nice little spot in the GTA. Yeah, I'm like I used bro. to chill there. I used to chill there in the summer. I used to go from there to I used to go there to Scarborough and then I always used to go to uh I used to go to Scarborough and then I go to Toronto, check out Regent Park. You know, I was always poking my nose in the wrong hood because I wanted to I wanted to kick it with all the OGs and I'm like, ah oh, fuck, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> Damn, bro. But yeah, bro. Canada, you know, lit, Toronto, Toronto, the, Toronto lives that life like they talk about. Well, some of them, not all of them, but a good amount of them do. Yeah. 
What part of but, Canada you live in, or is it like I'm like you can't say. I'm in the capital. I'm in oh, the Ottawa, capital. So like, yeah, so like I'm like five six hours away from Toronto, but I'm two hours an hour and a half away from Montreal. They still riding out there and chill out. What do you mean? I heard there was riots. Uh, like I think like last no, no, year no, no, going Canada, on from or protests nah, like that. That's probably more more so out west. Oh, got you. Yeah, they don't want to do that here. It's too government around here to do that shit. They had that one trucker rally, and that was enough. Mm-hmm. That shit yeah, ruined my down. day. That shit ruined my day for four straight fucking weeks. Bro, that's bad. Bro, I was trying to get places I couldn't get to. I could get there in twenty minutes usually. Yo, the fucking car ride took two hours. Mm-hmm. Hell no, nah, never again. Uh, I was about bro. to literally hop out a fucking car and whoop a trucker's ass just for the hell of it. That's what you got to do, bro. Sometimes <laughs> take his truck and just ride to where I gotta go. Sometimes you just got. To delete something, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, control alt delete, dog. That's what I'm saying. Ah, so yeah, now tell me some, tell me, tell me a little bit about your catalog of music. Um, when I first started making music, it was all just like rap, and then uh, one day we are like Breeze's like girlfriend's house at the time, and we made this song called "You." So I started like tapping in. I'm more of an R&B side. And then from like R&B, I started moving and I started like doing like a little bit of pop. I got this song called M with this dude named Sig Roy from uh, Syracuse, New York. That was the first time I dipped my foot in the pop. And then I got like a few pop records. I got a lot of unreleased pop songs, bro, that I'm telling you, like they're they're ready to go. I really tapped into like this songwriting side. So like I do a lot of like, I do a lot, bro. And uh, then I started doing like more like drill, R&B drill actually. Like when pop came out, I was like, "Damn, like I'm really fucking with this." Cause I fuck with the UK music too. So then, yeah, yeah, me I like, too. I fuck with a few artists out there, bro. Yeah. Like I can't get that Splinter track by Dave in Central C out of my head, bro. Yeah. You know, yes. Uh, bro, just uh, too. And like the and the accent just adds so much cadence to it. You heard the uh, uh, Central C and Drake on the radar. Mm-hmm. I'm on his side. Mm. Got two sticks in a rock. Bro, I didn't like snap. Drake. Like Drake. I didn't like Drake on it. No? I, no, I do like Drake, but I didn't like him on that. No? no yeah, I, I want to was... see what this album's about, though. This, the, for, it's for the for all the dogs yeah. or whatever. He he better be on some, like, old school, so far gone shit, or I'm going to be pissed. I think it's going to be like that, but I think he's going to have, like, more R&B on this. Yeah, I know, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't play R&B for my dogs when I'm chilling. No, bro. <laughs> like I will. Like, I mean, if it's the, if it's the time and place, but like, yeah. you know, it's hard, it, like if you're playing like a, like a hard track, you can play it anywhere. People are gonna bump, but like I'm not trying to play a soft R and B track while I'm chilling with a bunch. Of I dudes. think it's, it's gonna be more like like fuck these bitches type. You know what I'm saying? All right, then I'll I'll, I'll like, hang out with a few dudes for the couple, dogs. I'll hang out with a few dudes and bring a couple women then. Yeah, <laughs> then I'll the, play it. Just, <laughs> Run that. So what's 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 holding you back from releasing these pop joints that you're so like excited about? Uh, I have a consultant, and okay. uh, we're we're trying to see like what we can like move around because like marketing what, is the part, man. What happened? Marketing is the goal for it. Yeah. So when I send him music, it's basically like a couple categories. It's either all right, we're gonna put this out as like a standalone single. We gonna put it towards your project. Uh, yo, save this because like if you have a song that takes off, then like boom, we'll start running all these because it's gonna like, like some of my songs are like way ahead of their time. Like if I put them out now, it just wouldn't make sense because they're like the way that like they're structured and how powerful they are with how I am as an artist right now. If they didn't take off, it would just be a waste. It'd be a sleeper. Yeah. So really just yeah. look at that or if it doesn't really sound like me like i have a weekend style song like an 80s like r and ish kind of song like t- how tori did his project um at the prom or whatever yeah prom night. like that so uh i got a song like that coming at first we were gonna shop it around but then he's like nah like let's let's get that on the project and what's what pro- what's the project that you're working on you have a title it's called love fargo love fargo yeah all right I'll make sure to put that in the description when I finish this later. Um, how? What are you planning? Is it just an, a whole like pop R and B joint, or are you adding some of the drill to it? It's it's gonna have a little bit of everything. Yeah. A little so bit you're of just everything. putting 
throwing different spices in the mix. Yeah, but before that drops, me and Breeze have a joint project dropping called Anoya. No, I'm looking forward to that because the Jelani Sky album was fucking fire. Like we, I don't know if Breeze. You were dope you. on that joint too on on, on uh, Jelani night. Sky, bro. Yeah, late night. Yeah, that was fucking dope, man. That was fire. Yeah. But last week I always put my like top five tracks on the on the group that I have for this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Last week it was uh if you know you know. So I had that one along by Breeze and I had a couple from Shorty Bang that I was banging. So Bro, he snapped on that project. Yo, he snapped on the freestyles and shit on my on the interview. <laughs> a word? Yo, bro, we had a two part interview in like five minutes. <laughs> God, God damn. Yeah, I was yeah, like, he yo. Off. Shit. Like literally, it was just funny because he kept going and rapping, and my phone shut off because it overheated. So I like I waited like fifteen minutes. I'm like, dog, what you do to my fucking shit? Killed that shit. Hell yeah! Shout out to street religion, bro. Y'all killing shit. Street religion in the building. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, all day, every day, bro. And I'm just out here fucking watching from the sidelines promoting. <laughs> bro, I, we appreciate it, bro. I appreciate I'm, it. Breeze lets me know a lot, man. We, Breeze, Breeze, give me some good, good conversation. Breeze has been a solid dude the last few months, a uh, couple weeks. That well, it's been about a month that I've tapped in with him, but I've been following the music for a minute. Yeah. Yo, one thing I can honestly say about Breeze, and he gonna be mad when I say this, but yeah. like, if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for him, bro, I promise you, there wouldn't be a lot of these little niggas running around. I swear to God, like he yeah. really, he really dropped his nuts on Vermont, like for real. Yeah, he did, um, man. And the thing is, like. Like he's saying, like he does, like the post he had was talking about like not getting the love from where you're from and shit. And it's like, it's disappointing because they're like, definitely like they're missing the mark. Like they have yeah. someone that they could, they could propel into a trajectory that, that, you know, like can make them something, something different. But people like to sleep on people until it benefits them. Right. I think, I think it's like, like you get all these people adding you on Facebook because they're mutual friends. And you're like, oh shit, maybe they're trying to tap in with the music, but it's not, bro. People just want to rather be nosy and they're into watching. your personal life. Just, they don't care about the music, bro. They're dry snitching, man. They're always right. talking, bro. They're like, oh, it's just June. It's just Breeze. It's just D French. They don't care yeah. about. They don't care about none of that shit, bro. They're like, yeah. and then, oh, and then when like, you put a record to record. And when you put it record to record with them, they're all fucking sloppy, and you're all you're all good. <laughs> and right. they're like, ah, oh, fuck. We, we ended up going up. We won a competition, and we ended up going to Shade Forty Five. We met with Sway, uh, we met with Y Clef, and then when we got bro, no one was really like talking about us or nothing. But I promise you, the day we came back, we went to a few bars because we had shows, bro. They dead ass treated us like we were Tom Brady and the Patriots, <laughs> bro. And that's the goofy shit. They don't like they. They only want to show support when they see like big national shit. Like, oh, you know what? Hey, I grew up watching him on MTV. Ah, ah, ah. But then it's like, yo, we got a show at <laughs> Jewel in Manchester. Nah, bro, I can't pay five dollars to get in, even though you're you're giving me a ride back you know, there, bro. Like they, even if, even if you like serve it on a platter, they're still like picky. Like, yo, fuck off, man. Fuck that right. over there. What are you what are you wasting my time for while I'm cooking if you don't like it? <laughs> They'd rather buy these ten thousand dollar tickets to go see Fifty Cent than to support someone they actually know that has potential and talent. And that's what I try to explain to people. It's not. It's not that we're bad, and that's why we haven't taken off. It's a simple fact that you don't want to indulge in our brand, something that's free. Like it is easy. You're on. Everyone's on social media, especially during the pandemic. Just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Bro, you see me post. You're supposed to be my friend or whatever. Bro, it ain't hard. You don't have to write nothing. All you have to do is just put an emoji, bro. You can just react to it or just share it, bro. You don't have to write nothing. It's easy, easy as that, bro. It's it's not yo, hard. don't cost a damn thing, bro. Free. You're already paying for your data. That's what I'm saying. I hear and you. Most, Glad I'm clear. Trust most me, most bro. I was, feeling I was in the shit. Part. I was in the shit a long time too before I started doing this, man. And like now I'm back in it, but like. Like seeing the scene how it is now, I'm just like fuck, man. I really gotta, I really gotta focus on what I'm gonna put out because I'm tired of the shit that I hear like right. coming from some of the people around me. And then like, I've all, but I've always been like a listener of music, man. Like I was, I mix my own shit like Breeze does now, like for himself and everyone else. And like I used to do the same shit, so like I understand when what he's talking about from like the studio engineer side of things to like the artist side of things. Not so much production. I suck making beats. 
But I wish I could make it. Me too. Then I would have no problem putting shit out anytime. That's what I'm saying. Breeze about to teach me how. He needs to run with class. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're headed back from Florida to Vermont, right? Yeah. For it. See, yeah, we, we have discussions here and there. I, I know a little info. Yeah, but when I I'm get not back. A fed, I'm not a fed, though. I'm not a fed, I promise. Bro, that's all right. <laughs> Yo, free, free Tory. <laughs> man, they going to cut me. Watch. Yo, they don't want Tory gone, man. He's going to come out and shoot Megan the other foot. Bro, <laughs> Meg needs to go. She needs help, too, bro. Bro, she needs help, bro. She that kid is weird. The whole thing is weird. Whether whether he did it or not, bro, that whole situation was weird. His fucking lawyer was garbage. Bro, they set him up. Yo, his, his, yo, he paid a lot of money for that garbage-ass lawyer, bro. I'm telling you, he should have came back to Canada and got the big man. But, you so, know, you know he, had to be the, he had to be Hollywood and get some, some like, stapled lawyer, and then it fucked him. Bro, because everybody wants to get these, I call them designer lawyers. They're like, oh, that's OJ lawyer. He got OJ off. He got Boosie off. Let me get him, bro. <laughs> Come on. Yo, and the funniest shit is the one, the lawyer that he chose, everyone that re he represented actually did the shit they did. <laughs> bro, shit. Went to J.G. Wentworth. Yo, fucking OJ Simpson's just like, yeah, lawyer, get my guy. Don't worry about it. And then he gets <laughs> fucked over and OJ's like, ha! <laughs> that's what I'm saying. OJ's hating the background dog i swear <laughs> I, feel, I honestly feel like with all the evidence presented if tory wasn't talking so much not necessarily talking it was that phone call the yeah. phone call he made from the jail that's what screwed him i promise you <laughs> that is the one thing that screwed him just like oh tell her i'm sorry i'm sorry about how all this shit went down bro you incriminated yourself mm -hmm. whether it was the fact that you were fucking both of them or or you did, did it you incriminated I guarantee you was fucking both of them Bro, he was. He yeah. admitted it. He yeah, was just I mean, get Kylie, bro. He had yep. to get Kylie. Him and Travis had problems, bro. Kylie yep. was the final boss that night. He <laughs> had to. Because then he get one more on Travis. And now he's got a side quest behind bars. <laughs> right, bro. He, he about to maneuver through the jail. They going to have him singing jail songs no, while gonna, they fucking pick up. have him singing that. all those prom night songs, dog. <laughs> hey, he going to have a whole big thing going. Sliding down the pod and shit. Right. <laughs> he, he better oh, sing the pop theory. His shit gonna be jumping. <laughs> yeah, Breeze is dying. <laughs> final boss, bro. Yeah, for real, man. And now that side quest shit's happening in jail, bro. <laughs> That's a long ass side quest. Seven yep. and a half. Yeah, at least. At least. Hopefully he doesn't do nothing stupid in there, because I don't know, Tori can go off sometimes. That's what I'm saying. A, that short man syndrome. He's he's got that Scarborough attitude, bro. Yeah. You know, Little day star, yeah. fucking Scarborough man's Toronto man's. <laughs> Shit. So yeah, who so. like speaking of like uh, Canadian artists that you listen to and you fuck with, like for your project, who would you want to who who would you want to see on it if you could get someone? Because uh, there's potentially a chance I could get some of these people. Drake. Okay, not that guy. Drake. Drake. Not Drake. Not Drake. Uh, <laughs> Um, man, uh, Wavy, I know he's kind of like underground still. Nav is fine. I know Nav is tapped into the underground yeah, scene. Yeah, Nav, Nav tapped in. If you could get him, uh, that send him a banger or something and he likes it, he's definitely would. Yo, if, if y'all can find him, because I haven't seen him in years, Obi O'Brien, bro. Yo, Obi O'Brien? Obi O'Brien. Uh, I mean, uh, I know I know a homie who used to do some video work for him, so I'll, I'll hit him up and see what's good with him. Yeah, who, who else? Um, Boy Wonder. Boy Wonder used to follow me on Twitter, which was weird. I don't know if his shit got hacked. He, fo he no, he followed me too. Yeah, he was, I don't know if he went on a spree or something, but I like. You know, yo, you know who I had follow me on my old Twitter before he got big oh. was Kendrick Lamar's sound engineer, mixed by Ali. And this guy used to conversate with me every day, and then, like, he won a Grammy, and he was just like, peace. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? That's how it happens. Um, I was in contact with, um, what's his name? Something Coop. He was Tory Lane's pianist. Um, oh, okay. I'm trying to think of his first name, but his last name's Coop. But uh, we were in touch for a minute, but then, like, Tory, like, took him on, like, all these tours, and he was, like, kind of out of reach, so... 
Just like yeah. Cap. That's right. Why am Navin Fargo? Yeah. Playing with a Bieber. Yeah. You know that she get eater. <laughs> yeah. You got yo. Usually it's people rapping on this thing for me, but you got any? You you, you want to show anybody anything? Bro, I can I can play the new single if you want. You can do that. That's good. All right. Hold on. Let me know if it's loud enough. All right. Actually, no, no. Breeze, you want me to play that shit? Oh, fuck. Breeze, you want me to play that shit? Yeah, we going to play that shit. Breeze know what I'm talking about. Yo, I'm not supposed to show nobody this, but I'm going to show you. Breeze won't mind. Present out, Pluto. Present out, Pluto. That's one that's gonna be on the project. That's fucking fire, bro. We that gonna do the remix. Start, that start off right. Yeah, we gonna do the remix. We gonna have Breeze and YM on it. It's yeah, gonna be one of them fun. ones. Yeah, that's fire, bro. That's definitely a fucking. That's a banger for sure, for sure. Yeah, living wild. Yeah, now you got me stoked. I want to hear something else. <laughs> you want to hear some R and B? I'll hear R and B, bro. Right, hold on. I got like this is this is the one that's dropping next month. It's called Alone. It's like it's like raw wave vibes. You're gonna make people cry and shit. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, my guy Bobby Brugal from Ottawa. What's going on, my G? How's past life products doing? I hope you're well. Yo. I need a new hoodie, dog. I need a new hoodie, bro. I need to rep that shit. I got photo shoots coming up. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna run yeah. this one for you. Yo, if so you want to check I mean. out some dope, yo, if you want to check out a dope Ottawa artist, but he's from originally from I'm gonna say Pittsburgh. He's originally from Pittsburgh. He's fucking dope, bro. This guy, Bobby Brugal, formerly known as Castro Crosby. He's got that fucking fire. And his merch and his merch line is crazy. I need to check that out. I'm going to link you to it. Bro, it's yeah. fucking crazy, sure. bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, but, yeah, man. let's hear that. Let's hear, let's hear some R&B, dog. I mixed it, but if I don't mix it, Breeze mixes it. Yo, 
That shit, that shit is hard. Even my man Bobby was agreeing with that shit, man. He said that shit sounds hard already. That dropped. Um, what's next month? September, September twenty eighth. Are you shooting a visual for that? Bro, I got a visual ready. It's stocked, loaded. Yeah, bro, man, you got the vault locked up and ready to go. Yes, sir. Got them all in the chamber, ready to just fucking shoot, dog. Let's go. I'm ready. You no, know? I'm ready. I've been I've been hoarding a lot of music lately because I just I'm just trying to get everything like perfect. But this is this is part of Love Fargo. It's it's a really emotional project. It's like me tapping into like a more emotional side, like going through a lot of like shit lately. That's, like, that's the type of shit I write for hip hop, bro. Yeah. So like I feel it that, right away when I heard the hook. That shit's nice, bro. That shit's fucking nice. Like. We need to, like, this project, I haven't really said nothing about it, but it's really pushing, like, like not just the mental health of, like, artists, but, like, the mental health of men. Like, everybody just expects to just be right there, like, gangster, thuggish, acting like everything's supposed to be hard. But it's like, nah, like, a lot of these niggas out here are vulnerable and you just don't see it. And that's why so many people just go through it. Bro, like, like my whole podcast, you like, the On The Line With name comes from, like, the Full Links podcast I do. Mm -hmm. And that focuses on the arts and mental health and mental illness, bro. You should hear the stories on those interviews. I'm telling you, you want to hear some, like, raw, transparent, like, emotional <laughs> shit? Bro, these artists are real, real into it. My man Bobby was on the first season, to be honest. Is it on, uh, um, is Spotify, it on actually? Spotify, uh, okay. Apple, it's on YouTube. What's it called again? It's called, what my what my name is on here, okay. on the line with. Yeah, because I was That's in the original podcast. I listen to yeah, that's the original podcast. I'm gonna need that. Yeah, I'll link you to that. That's the original podcast. This is a side series, and we're uploading everything to YouTube now as well. But right now, it's just right on Instagram for now. And then we have a whole music project that we're putting out under the banner that I've, I've talked, I told Breeze about. I'm gonna let you know about it because we're definitely gonna need some nice little fucking. Some singing hip hop bars. You're gonna kill that shit, bro. You're you're one of the dopest singers I've heard in a minute, man. I appreciate that. There's not a lot of singers out here that I fuck with. There are some that I fuck with, but not like, not like when I hear a first track, I'm like, okay. I I'm definitely definitely looking forward to what like you like you put together with that project, man. Yo, I'm it's glad you fun. I'm glad you let them know that I wanted to link up, dog. Because I mean, I was I was tagging them in all the interviews and shit all the time, so. I, I wasn't, I was just tagging them, like, blindly. Just like, June Fargo, hope he checks this shit out. Nah, so, bro, like, I've been so caught up lately. I haven't even really spoke to Breeze a lot lately because I've just been, like, bro, it's been, I don't want to get into it, but it's just been, like, one bad thing after another. Bro, that ass. Last night, bro, it's been crazy. Ask Breeze. Ask Breeze what my life been like lately. He'll tell you the same shit. I've been, I've been saying the same shit, bro. Bro. Life, like, the last decade has been a piece of shit to me. Bro. Bro, I promise you, better things are coming, bro. I'm hoping. Just, I'm hoping because I don't know what I did for Karma to slap me this hard. That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit just. You know, I've man. always been. I've always been pretty solid, bro. I might have burnt some bridges back in the day, you know, but I used them to build new houses for people. Right. Shit. Like. <laughs> but yo, so, Love Fargo. When do you expect that album drop or project? Um, it was supposed to drop this November. But with everything going on, I'm going to push it to, like, early 2024. I don't have, like, a set date. But I definitely got um, some singles coming. Um, so Yeah, some singles coming. I'm, I'm looking forward to them, bro. Um, before we go, do you have anybody, any shout, anything, like, you want to shout out, links, any projects, or any tracks you have out right now that you're trying to run up? Go ahead. We got... June Fargo, J U N F A R G O. It's not John. It's not Juan. It's not Juanito. It's not John. <laughs> Yo, they be disrespecting me. Like we used to do shows, they used to call me uh, Juan Fargo. I'm like, bro, Juan no, Pablo Fargo. Fargo. <laughs> Where's the Juan, bro? But it's Fargo, Yo. J U N N F A R G O. Uh, you might get that called by me now, man. Every time I talk to you, Yo, Juan Fargo. Are we like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man. I didn't no want to, one. How, I want there's to, not even bro. an A in it. Well, nah, bro. That's what I be saying. There's no A in it, bro. No A, but they just put it there. People just want to put shit where it don't belong. <laughs> Motherfuckers just skip, skip Spanish class and shit. 
Yeah. yeah Yo, well, listen. Look at these people commenting. We had tacos and kit. <laughs> Yo, listen, shout out the world, bro. I got mad love for everybody, even my worst enemy. Yo, listen, if you are watching this, if you got this far into this episode, listen, love everybody, bro. Show love. Tomorrow's never promised. We all in this shitty world together, bro. So just be good to everybody. It's not even that hard, bro. Just make someone stay. Love. That's, that's my message to the world. Just love everybody, bro. It ain't, it ain't that bad. When it's that bad, bro, it ain't that bad. There's always someone worse off than you it ain't that bad bro you know, there's one thing i like to say like that that gets said a lot there's always someone else worse than you but i feel like everybody's issue is is specific right. to them so it could be it could look like nothing to you but it could be everything to them right you know what i mean so right. i feel like don't judge don't judge a person's outside don't judge a person's inside based on their outside you know what i mean right like if they're if they look like an asshole and shit there might be a reason. <laughs> exactly. You feel me? Like don't. You know it's first. like it's like meeting a new dog. You got to put your hand out, let them sniff it first. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know. You know. Yeah. Don't be jumping into people's. Don't be trying to jump into people's lives. Don't be judging people off the jump. Just fucking chill out, lay back. Try to if you if you're trying to listen to them, try to understand them as a person and an artist. What I'm saying, bro. You. So you get it. Loud and clear, dog. I hear it loud and clear. We're on the same wavelength, my D. Yeah. Yeah. Word up. I'm glad I'm glad we got this conversation, bro. When you when the yeah. album what's that? I said that's what I'm saying, bro. When the project drop, we gotta link up again. And we're gonna do exactly what I did with uh with the homie uh Breeze. We're gonna wait for the countdown once it drops at midnight or whatever day it drops, we're gonna be on the live just celebrating the shit. Bro, that'll be gas, I promise. I got you. I'm when the next single drops, when you drop the next single in a couple, it's a couple weeks, right? Yeah, yeah the it's like a month. It's I like saw a it month. on here. Someone posted it. Hold on, I'll get uh, uh, nine twenty-two, September twenty-second. Yeah. All right, so then we'll do make maybe we'll connect that day and do something uh, for the I'm release of that. I'm with it, bro. bro. Word up. All right, All right, yo, you're tapped in on everything. I'll I'll send you the group link and shit, so you know where to post shit when you when you have it and then yeah man uh definitely glad having you on it's good to meet you you too bro. uh yeah i'm pretty sure this is episode 106 i'm really high right now but uh yeah shout out to june fargo aka juan fargo yeah. for coming hey, on uh, car chats episode 106, 106. You know, your man handling from on the line with everybody that tapped in i appreciate it yo d french please hit me up i want to have you on the show as well uh that anybody I listening to this yeah anyone listening of this if you're an artist and you want to tap in with me and get on the show all of this is a simple message and we'll figure something out uh but everybody go run up the tracks that june fargo has out right now make sure you're ready for september 22nd bro that track's going to come out and it's going to bang harder than a motherfucker so i appreciate you dog hey man and i appreciate you all right and stay yo tap in with me bro and let's let, let, let's stay connected for sure all right brody i, I got you all right brother peace peace, peace.